Welcome back to Dee's Workshop. I'm Dee's, and this is my workshop. So today, um, it's going to be kind of a, just a update video and some, some more lathe work, just kind of messing around. Um, one of the primary focuses today is going to be to try and improve my understanding and usage of dies. Um, tapping, that doesn't seem so bad. But uh, if you remember, I made a magic tube in a previous video and uh, turned out okay, but it's, it's very loose. Um, and it's because I was struggling with getting my threads cut and I'm, I'm struggling with the, the starting diameters and, and, you know, just trying to sort that out. So part of the focus today is figuring out my starting diameter, which from what I'm finding, it's, it's as close to if you're gonna do a half inch thread, half inch is what you start with. So we're gonna be playing around with that today and trying to improve on that. Um, so I'm gonna make a couple more of these magic tubes just because uh, it's a good learner project and a good way to experiment with, with using that stuff. So here's the stock, I'm gonna make two more out of this piece. And uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is use my collet chuck. Um, as you recall, I got a collet plate adapter. Uh, this can be used on mills, CNC machines, but the whole pattern lined up. This is a, a seven hole unit. Um, I haven't actually used this yet, but I have had it open. Let's get it out of here. I went with an ER40. So my collets are all ER40 that I got with it, or that I got for it, not with it. You gotta buy all that separately. Um, and as I said, let's clean some of this oil off of here so it doesn't look so bad. But as I said, it, uh, it's got the four hole and three hole patterns and the three hole threaded holes is what lines up on my, uh, spindle plate. So clean that off, take a look. And before I get started and on this, uh, I wanted to thank everybody who weighed in. I sent out a video with a call for help for everybody um, about wanting to get a collet chuck and a four jaw chuck. I didn't know what to get. If you if you search for that stuff, there's all kinds of stuff out there. So many different sizes, and it makes sense. You got all kinds of sizes of lays. You got four inches, you got five inch chucks, you have little ones, big ones, different manufacturers, different hole patterns, different ways to mount these things. You gotta make sure you get the right thing. So. Thank you to everybody who offered advice, thoughts, inputs, what you should get, what you shouldn't get, what you're gonna use, what you're not gonna use. All that stuff matters to me, and it helps me decide what I'm gonna get for what I wanna work on. And in the end, I chose, since I didn't have any collets, I went with the ER40. And the reason for that is I wanted to go, I wanted to be able to use the largest pieces, work pieces that I could with this inch and three eight spindle bore that I have. And this option gives me the most bed length that I can still retain with the largest spindle bore, keeping the largest spindle bore so I can work on, well, I got up to an inch right now, but I think I can go a little bit larger than that too, uh, with using collets. So uh, that's why I chose the ER40. You might choose something else. And then, a final note on all of that, and again, this is thank you to all of you who, who weighed in and offered your advice. A final note on that, uh, on a four jaw, I'm gonna get an independent four jaw chuck. And I've decided to go with <clears throat> the ones that are this size and have the four holes. None of them, I've never, I've not found one that has the three hole threaded pattern yet. Maybe they make one. But if they don't, I'm gonna go with the ones that have the four holes. It'll be just like this. So what I will do is line up one of the holes that exist on, on the, one of the three holes that I have on my spindle plate. And then I will mark, I'll get that centered up and I will mark the, for two more holes through the spindle plate. And then I will tap those. I'll drill and tap those into the four jaw that I get. So that's my plan. So the next jaw that I'm going to get is a four jaw. And I won't use it that often, I'm pretty sure. But the reason that I want it is for oddball size stock. 
uh, if I want to turn down something that's square, perhaps, um, and face off a square, you know, I don't have a mill yet. So something like that I could see coming in handy. So anyway, so enough about that. What, what I'm going to do is use the collet as kind of a test. You know, I haven't used this yet, so I want to use this for making the next couple magic tubes. So this project today is really going to be about testing the usage of the collet. Well, that's not half. This is three quarter. Uh, but testing my collets and the collet shaft, in addition to learning a little bit more about threading. Again, this channel is all about learning and watching my journey, somebody exploring and learning um, from my eyes. So uh, some of you already know out there, it's obvious to you how to thread this stuff. Oh, one other thing to note, I'm using a Pittsburgh tap and die set. As you know, that's from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight does not make the best quality stuff. I could be battling an issue with a low quality die, um, but it's what I got. Um, I can't just go out and buy all the cool stuff day one. So I'm slowly getting more and more tools and more and more um, better accessories to add to this hobby. But again, I can't buy it all at once. So I'm gonna pause you here. We gotta get this mounted up and we'll bring you over to the, the lathe. Here's the uh, three quarter it much more appropriate for what we're going to be doing anyway we'll get all this unpacked get it ready to go close look at the collet there and uh yeah we'll continue on think it moved much let's just see I mean it, it's I'm gonna go with this this is very close for this hobby machine and I think the the actual spindle has run out anyway on itself but uh, that's that's really good and I know I'm not doing it on the, the on the actual nut or any of that stuff but i'm gonna go with this let me get this tightened down and then uh, we'll check again that's pretty good happy with that so far maybe i'll make a mark where i have it so in the future i can get it back in the same spot but uh again you know there's just room for just a, a touch of play here or there but that's pretty good there all right let's turn this back on um all right i'm moving all this zero that back in because i bumped it a little
right there. Turn this on. It's it's about one thou, one thou run out. I'm I'm gonna call that acceptable for this mini lather, at least for this first attempt with with all this. And who knows, this indicator is from China. It's another Harbor Freight jobby. I don't have proper equipment yet, but using what I can afford for now, I, I'm gonna call that good enough, at least for this project. So happy with that. Turn that off. Clean up some of this mess. And we'll get ready with the, the actual collet. So I'll bring you back. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna make two more of these things. And so what I'm gonna do is cut my relief down. This is the part that I was struggling with, with the last one um, on the cap. If you look at the threads, you know, we've got, you know, they're, they're not stiff. They're not peaks and stuff like it should be. I, I think maybe I didn't have enough of a chamfer on this to start it because like I said all I'm finding on the internet is if you're going to be using a die for you know half inch then you need to start with 500 thou um, you can go a couple thou under is what it, some people have said but what I think I'm struggling with is poor quality tap and die set um, it's to be expected it's Harbor Freight but I would like to have a little more success than this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is bring this in about 600 thou depth. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I just need, I don't need a whole lot of thread. You know, we got, this is 300 thou on here, um, measuring off camera here. But I'm thinking, I mean, I could go half inch. That'll give me plenty of material to play with and, and chamfer off. So I might bring that in a half inch. That's 
that's an awful lot for threading. Quarter's not enough. I'm gonna bring it in. Oh well, I'm gonna bring it in a half inch on each end. And I'm gonna turn that down to, I'm gonna turn that down to uh, 500 thou. So that's what I'm doing. First operation, I'm just gonna bring this down to, bring this down half inch, 500 thou depth. And uh, I'm gonna do it on both ends and I'll put a bigger chamfer on these. Um, I'm just prepping to get ready to take it over to the vise and, and use the die on it. So let's get that measured and uh, we'll continue on. Doesn't have to be exact. Interesting. I, I think I've got some galling um, huh, from the aluminum. So I'm going to start using, I'm going to switch to using some cutting fluid with this. I don't know if you can see that on right on that tip. So I'm going to hone this out and uh, bring it back and we'll use some cutting oil. I did a little bit of an experiment. I, uh, I, I just went one mil because this is all metric. And so I dialed in one millimeter on here and it, I'm looking at my chart and decimal equivalents. Um, it looks like, 
So I had about 30 thou to take off and it looks like it took off about 32 thou maybe. And that's, that shows like a 0.81 or, or it's almost, almost a full millimeter of what it took off. Actually, if I start measuring it, it went a little more than that. It went about I'm, I'm right there. I mean, if I twist it. So I'm at 499. I'm not going to take any more off. I'm just, just trying to learn the machine and uh, how much it comes in. And, you know, I can take about, I guess about one millimeter on the dial here, which is, you know, I can't really rely too much on this, is nearly 30, 35 thou. So I got to be mindful of that when I twist my handle turn it in, you know, what I'm trying to accomplish. So what we're going to do now is kind of do an undercut since I've got it chucked up here. I want to face this off and uh, then we'll put a chamfer on the end. So let's get at it. It's not ideal, but it'll it'll be okay for now. I can come back in with a um, maybe some carbide or something with a sh sharper tip to do a proper undercut. But for now, I've got that flat. I've got this flat. I'm going to put a chamfer on here, and we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Again, I'm trying to d use a die that's a half inch, and I just struggled the other day. Um, but what I'm finding is people say you need to turn it down to half inch if you're going to make a half inch, if you're going to use a half inch die. So I'm going to put a bigger chamfer on that and then we'll see if that helps. try that on this side turn down pretty good we're at our half inch diameter um, again if you remember from the magic tube we don't want to chamfer any corners up here or anything this is just gonna be my threaded piece so I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and uh, then it'll prepare both ends to go ahead and use the die so let's get that flipped around I'm gonna have to, I'm sure there's a proper tool that I don't have for this. Call it Chuck, I overlooked that. Um, I suppose I could get a screwdriver. Um, let me grab some, I don't really wanna mar it up. Wait a minute, what's this? for now probably not a good idea all right let's get this on loosened up that wasn't too bad Same thing.
measurements are it they're not critical sizes but i've got a decent chamfer on the ends i'm gonna see if i can get this thing my die to actually go on and function like i want it to so the next step is to thread these down um, then we'll come back in and undercut them and uh we'll move on but uh yeah all right let's try this again I don't know how much of this I'm going to record because it's just me frustratingly spinning on this, but I did get a bigger chamfer here. Hopefully I have better luck. Um, one of these days I'll get like a tailstock die set holder that will help me start um, my threads and whatnot. And I definitely need to get a better temp and die set. But for now, you got to use what you got, right? So I can't go out and buy everything new at once. So let's put just a touch of oil on here. And let's see, let's see if we can't get this started. I hope I got, it. I hope it's all about the chamfer. I have got to get better about being able to, to start my taps and dies. That's after all, the way that I'm going to be able to fasten things. I gotta be able to, I just don't understand. I just feel like this should not, I've seen it done on the internet and people in their videos just start it and off they go. So what am I doing wrong? I just don't feel like it should be that hard. Again, it could be my die. Now, the other thing I'm doing, I'm starting with what it makes sense to me that the the larger end would help you start your die. Am I, do I have that wrong? And the other thing is this is not a good way to keep, keep it, you know, squared up. I'm putting, trying to put so much pressure. It wobbles all over. Let me flip it over and try it. I'm gonna pause it here. This is gonna be nothing but boring video, me getting frustrated with this. There's gotta be a better way, and it just very well could be the tools that I have and then trying to use, but everything says half inch. This is right at 500 thou. This, this should go, you know, according to what everybody says. Like I said, this exercise is more about trying to figure out using the die that I have. This is just dumb. This doesn't make any sense to me. I'm gonna go back to the lathe and put a, a bigger chamfer on that or a sharper chamfer. I gotta be able to get this to work. All right. So bigger chamfer, there's the other one. I haven't started on that one yet. Let's see if, if this does anything. There has to, this has to go smoother than this. This doesn't make, make a whole lot of sense to me. Well, I think I'm going to stop here for this video. I'll throw it out on a Wednesday. Anybody watching this thing, I'm going to stop here. This should not be this difficult. Do you think it's just crappy tap? Yes, they're crappy dies. We already know that because it came from Harbor Freight. But these are these should be sharp enough 
to start and bite into this aluminum. I don't understand. You know, there, it just seems like voodoo. What is the trick? What's the trick? What, what, if this is a half inch, and that's what the charts and everything says your starting diameter should be, why won't this start? Why won't this bite in and let me let me get this threaded? This is this doesn't make any sense. It it it's just chewing it up. And if I spend two hours on this, I'll eventually get get it to bite in, but. It just, I'm missing something. There's something you're supposed to be doing. I'm not a machinist. I could use your help. That's it. I'm not doing anything else with this until I get a response from some people. I'd love some help out there. Thanks. We'll talk soon, hopefully in the chat. All right, I got it started, but man, this, there has to be a better way to do this. Has to be. Let's get her done. Well, now it's not going. It was cutting. No, it's not. I think it's my die. Like, really? All right, I'm wrapping this video. This is not a successful threading attempt. As I said, I've, I've been struggling with this tap and die set. I need to show you this in case you're curious. I don't know that this is the problem, but I kind of am suspecting it is. This is the Harbor Freight 60 piece tap and die set. I, I really think this is total garbage. I am struggling. My, my taps aren't necessarily too too much of a problem. I'm able to get those started and going fairly successfully. But man, I am struggling with using the dies. It, it's maddening and it's beyond frustrating. You can even see on this one I did, it, it's not peaks on the threads. So it's not quite like I even wanted. So it, although it functions, you know, this does go in here. You know, it was a silly little project, so that's okay for what it is. This just isn't right. These threads should be more pronounced. They should be more accurate. This, I just cannot even get this stupid die started anymore. I think it's dull. I, I don't know. I'm doing something wrong. Either I'm not starting with the right diameter, but I just went back and looked again. Everybody says you start with a half-inch rod if you're making a half-inch threaded rod. It's too big for this die. So everything keeps pointing back to this die being the problem. Which I would then say, if that's the case, the entire set's just total crap. So I really would like everybody's input. What do you think? Do you think it's the, the die? Do you think it's me? It's probably a combination of, of each, so don't say that. We know that I still have a lot to learn, but this should not be this, this difficult to get this going. So, I'm stopping here with this project. I'm not going to make another one of these tubes until either I get a new die set or I figure something out. But, curious what everybody has to say. 
I'd like the consensus, whatever it comes out to be, I'd like to share those results with everybody else out there. You're going to be tempted to go to Harbor Freight like me and buy everything from Harbor Freight to get started. I'm going to have to say I encourage you to resist that temptation for many of your tooling. It's tough because everything costs so much. When you don't have a single tool, you don't have anything to really do proper projects. It's really tempting to go to Harbor Freight and just buy all that stuff. But you, you will find yourself in a situation like this thing. It will drive you up the wall. If it turns out to be this die, which I need to find. I don't want to just go buy another set until I know. I'm going to see if I can borrow one from my dad or somebody else and use the same material. And if I have immediately, instantly better luck, we can confirm that this is total crap. And I'm going to tell you right now, if it turns out to be the case, I, I can't encourage you enough to, to not buy certain tools from Harbor Freight. This is more frustrating than you might think, just trying to thread this. This, should, this shouldn't be so difficult. Anyway, thanks for watching. Wasn't really a successful video, but I did get to show the collet, uh, the collet chuck, using the collet. I mean, it, it turns true. Every time you put this back in there, it's still turning true. I really like that thing. I'm going to enjoy using that. That was a great upgrade for this thing. For now, I'm closing the video. Uh, I'm a bit frustrated with this thing. Uh, at the moment, although I'm not sure that it's not me or my technique over the die set from Harbor Freight, but I can say, based off this particular experience, do not buy a Harbor Freight tap and die set. Spend the extra money and get something proper. I'm closing it.